Hi, I'm Sunny, an AmeriCorps member serving with the Denver County 4-H program. Today, I will be presenting to you an activity from our Storytime STEM series. We will read the book on Anzi Goes Fishing, talk about some STEM concepts, and I will show you our spider web STEM challenge. Are you ready to have fun? Anansi Goes Fishing, retold by Eric A. Kimmel and illustrated by Janet Stevens. One fine afternoon, Anansi the spider was walking by the river when he saw his friend turtle coming toward him carrying a large fish. Anansi loved to eat fish, though he was much too lazy to catch them himself. Where did you get that fish? He asked turtle. I caught it today when I went fishing, turtle replied. I want to learn to catch fish too, Anansi said. Will you teach me? Certainly, said Turtle. Meet me by the river tomorrow. We will go fishing together. Two can do the work of one. But Anansi did not intend to do any work at all. Turtle is slow and stupid, he said to himself. I will trick him into doing all the work, then I will take the fish for myself. But Turtle was not as stupid as Anansi thought. Early the next morning, Turtle arrived. Are you ready to get started, Anansi, he asked. Yes, Anansi said. I have been waiting a long time. I want to learn to catch fish as well as you do. First, we make a net, said Turtle. Net making is hard work. When I do it myself, I work and get tired. But since there are two of us, we can share the task. One of us can work while the other gets tired. I don't want to get tired, Anansi said. I'll make the net. You can get tired. All right, said Turtle. He showed Anansi how to weave a net. Then he lay down on the riverbank. This is hard work, Anansi said. I know, said Turtle, yawning. I'm getting very tired. Anansi worked all day weaving the net. The harder he worked, the more tired Turtle grew. Turtle yawned and stretched, and finally he went to sleep. After many hours, the net was done. Wake up, Turtle, Anansi said. The net is finished. Turtle rubbed his eyes. This net is strong and light. You are a fine net maker, Anansi. I know you worked hard because I am very tired. I'm so tired, I have to go home and sleep. Meet me here tomorrow. We will catch fish then. The next morning, Turtle met Anansi by the river again. Today, we are going to set the net in the river, Turtle said. This is hard work. Yesterday, you worked while I got tired, so today I'll work while you get tired. No, no, said Anansi. I would rather work than get tired. All right, said Turtle. So while Anansi worked hard all day setting the net in the river, Turtle lay on the riverbank, getting so tired he finally fell asleep. Wake up, Turtle, Anansi said. Hours later, the net is set. I'm ready to start catching fish. Turtle yawned. I'm too tired to do any more today, Anansi. Meet me here tomorrow morning. We'll catch fish then. Turtle met Anansi on the riverbank the next morning. I can hardly wait to catch fish, Anansi said. That's good, Turtle replied. Catching fish is hard work. You worked hard these past two days, Anansi. I think I should work today well and let you get tired. Oh, no, no, Anansi said. I want to catch fish. I don't want to get tired. All right, said Turtle, whatever you wish. Anansi worked hard all day pulling the net out of the river while Turtle lay back getting very, very tired. How pleased Anansi was to find a large fish caught in the net. What do we do now, he asked Turtle. Turtle yawned. Now we cook the fish. Cooking is hard work. I think I should cook while you get tired. No, cried Anansi. He did not want to share any bit of the fish. I will cook. You get tired. While Turtle watched, Anansi built a fire and cooked the fish from head to tail. That fish smells delicious, Turtle said. You are a good cook, Anansi, and you worked hard. I know because I am very, very tired. Now it is time to eat the fish. When I eat by myself, I eat and get full. Since there are two of us, we should share the task. One of us should eat while the other gets full. Which do you want to do? I want to get full, Anansi said, thinking only of his stomach. Then I will eat. Turtle began to eat while Anansi lay back and waited for his stomach to get full. Are you full yet? Turtle asked Anansi. Not yet. Keep eating. Turtle ate some more. Are you full yet? No. Nope. Keep eating. Turtle ate some more. Are you full yet? Not at all, Anansi said. I'm as empty as when you started. That's too bad, Turtle told him, because I'm full and all the fish is gone. What? Anansi cried. It was true. Turtle had eaten the whole fish. You cheated me, Anansi yelled when he realized what had happened. I did not, Turtle replied. You did. You made me do all the work and then you ate the fish yourself. You won't get away with this. I'm going to the justice tree. 
Anansi ran to the justice tree. Warthog sat beneath its branches. Warthog was a fair and honest judge. All the animals brought their quarrels to him. What do you want, Anansi, Warthog asked. I want justice, Anansi said. Turtle cheated me. We went fishing together. He tricked me into doing all the work and then he ate the fish himself. Turtle deserves to be punished. Warthog knew how lazy Anansi was. He couldn't imagine him working hard at anything. Did you really do all the work, he asked. Yes, Anansi replied. What did you do? I wove the net. I set it in the river. I caught the fish and I cooked it. That is a lot of work. You must have gotten very tired. No, said Anansi. I didn't get tired at all. Turtle got tired, not me. Warthog frowned. Turtle got tired? What did he do? Nothing. If he did nothing, why did he get tired? Anansi, I don't believe you. No one gets tired by doing nothing. If Turtle got tired, then he must have done all the work. You are not telling the truth. Go home now and stop making trouble. Warthog had spoken. There was nothing more to be said. Anansi went home in disgrace, and it was a long time before he spoke to Turtle again. But some good came out of it. Anansi learned how to weave nets and how to use them to catch food. He taught his friends how to do it, and they taught their friends. Soon, spiders all over the world were weaving. To this day, wherever you find spiders, you will find their nets. They are called spider webs. I hope you enjoyed our book. Let's take a look at some STEM concepts and work on our STEM activity, the Spider Web STEM Challenge. Thanks for listening. All right, now that we've read our book, Anansi Goes Fishing, let's begin our Spider Web STEM Challenge. Let's talk about some of the STEM concepts associated with spider webs. Spider silk is one of the toughest materials in the natural world with five times the tensile strength of steel. While this may seem unfathomable, the proof is in the tensile strength formula. The formula says that we are going to take force over area and that's the relationship between the force to the area. Each strand of web is a thousand times thinner than a human hair and it's made up of thousands of nanostrands. Scientists and engineers work with different materials in construction to try and replicate this kind of strength. Arachnids are engineers. For this challenge, we will build our own spider webs and test their strength. Our goal is to create maximum strength with minimum material, just like a real spider web. Here are some questions to think about while you design your web. What are some things that you can think of that require tensile strength to carry a weight? What do you think might happen if you kept on increasing the weight or force on that thing? How might you be able to increase the tensile strength of that design to handle bigger loads? To set up our spider web stem challenge, I have some plastic cups, scissors, tape, and some yarn. I'll begin by setting the plastic cups around the cardboard, and I'm going to secure it down with pieces of tape. I'm going to put the cups in a roughly circular pattern so that I can connect the pieces of yarn to each cup. I'm going to use tape to secure the cups down to the cardboard. That'll hold them in place for when we put the weights down on the string to demonstrate the tensile strength. All right, so I have my cups all taped down to the cardboard and I'll take some string and stretch it between the cups. And it doesn't matter what pattern that you go in, just as long as you're doing a crisscross pattern. Not every spider web is the same. I'll show this for an example. And I have one done already that's set up that we'll test. So something like that, just keep stretching string between the cups until you have a web made. Okay, 
Our spider web is all set up. I have the cups taped down and secured to the cardboard. And I have the strings stretched between the cups and secured down with tape as well. You can set your, your spider web up in any manner. I just have it, the string stretched among the cups in, a right, in an irregular crisscross pattern. So I'm going to use some two by fours to some sections of two by fours to add weight to my spider web to see how strong it is. My, I just have two by fours because that's what I have at home. You can use other items that you, can, that you have at home as well. So any type of stacking cup would be acceptable um, and any type of tape or string that you have at home as well. And then any type of regularly shaped block such as two by fours or, or building blocks that you can add weight to the spider web too. So we're going to place the blocks on the spider web until the spider web fractures. And that's how we're going to test our tensile strength. So how many blocks can my spider web hold? Looks like I got about five blocks on there before my spider web fractured. Thanks for joining me with my spider web STEM challenge and I hope you have fun. All right, now that we've made our spider web and tested it out, let's think about this experiment. In this experiment, we use some pretty simple materials. Can you think of some different string materials that would create a stronger design? Make sure you record your challenge and post it using the hashtag Denver County 4-H. Thanks for joining us for our Storytime STEM challenge. We hope you had fun building a spider web and learning about tensile strength.